Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 87. So again, this is a continuation of my 2007 ACCM series, and I'm actually doing part 11, which is actually, I believe, the last part of uh, creating the package, creating the program, advertising the program, and now we gotta create and update the distribution point. So I think I had that stuff all memorized, right? Yep, uh, create the package create the package for create a program for the package advertise the package and now we're gonna create the update distribution point <laughs> these are my notes guys so I'm gonna laugh at me okay so uh, next thing is gotta shoot it to the distribution point so it's really simple so each package has their own distribution point node uh, I already did it for Mozilla Firefox as you can see here and I haven't done it for no pad plus plus because no pad plus plus is the one I've been doing with you guys so real simple you right click new distribution point follow just follow the wizard the wizard is very self-explanatory hit next you only have only one site server okay for me I only have one site server so if you guys have multiple site servers because you have a huge network infrastructure using SCCM with other other points hey you most likely you want to push this package to the other site servers but I only have one so I'm checking that off hit next and that's it that's that's about it guys I can't I can't lie about this stuff I can't make this stuff even easier for you uh, the next thing that you want to do is you want to right click and you want to update the distribution point uh, dialog box pop up saying this action will update all sites and distribution points with the latest version of the package this might take some time to complete. Are you sure you want to update all the distribution points? You do want a yes. And that's about it, guys. Um, I can't do anything else. Uh, I just show you guys how to create and update the distribution point. I think the next episode, hopefully, I have to work on because I got to work on the other episode because it takes forever. And I mean forever. For the package to hit machines it, it's not right away it's not a right away thing so especially for me because I'm running everything on a virtual machine environment but if you guys want to test stuff out within the control panel um, you should see your configuration manager now if you want to speed up process which I, I basically would do in my end and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on the next on the next video within actions there's two policies that you could run right away to initiate the action so when you initiate the pot the machine policy retrieval and eval uh, cycle as well as the user policy retrieval and eval cycle if you if you initiate these two actions what's gonna happen is um, it's gonna go to the SCCM and it's gonna start talking to it and basically retrieve whatever is being pushed out or advertised um, in this case I'm advertising my Silla Firefox as well as notepad on uh, notepad plus plus and that's what I'm gonna see uh, it's it's gonna take a while. Um, if you run advertised programs again, I don't have anything here, so most most likely you will see it here, and if it pops up, you will see it here. Um, on the next episode, I'm gonna show you guys how how that stuff works out live on a, on a physical machine, which has the client. It was already talking to my SCCM console and crossing the fingers that the advertisement will get hit on that client. Other than that, guys, that's about it with this episode. At the very bottom, there is a comment section. Please leave comments, good or bad, doesn't matter. Um, as well as if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And at the very top right there, there's a subscribe button. Just hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoy my videos. As well as you want to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software. And also, don't forget, gaming too. I'll catch you guys later and thank you.